now we need to count on in ones from a four digit number. So here we start with 4095. So that's four thousands, no hundreds, nine tens, and five ones. Next, we have 4096, then 4097. If we keep on adding ones, we get to 4098, 4099, then 4100. Now this doesn't look like 4100, but notice now we've got 10 ones, and we can exchange 10 ones for one more 10. So now we've got 10 tens, but we can exchange 10 tens for 100. So that's why one more than 4,099 is 4,100. And then we can keep on adding ones until we get to 4,104. We could also show place value counters. So again, we're starting with 4,000, no hundreds, nine tens, and five ones. If we keep on adding ones, now we've got to 4,099, but if we add another one, we get 10 ones, and we can exchange 10 ones for one ten. But doing that means that we now have 10 tens, and we can exchange 10 tens for 100. So that's why we get 4,100 and again, we can keep on adding ones until we get to 4,104. So now this time, we start with 2,997. So that's two thousands, nine hundreds, nine tens, and seven ones. Then we have 2,998, 2,999, and adding another one gives us 3,000. That doesn't look like 3,000, but remember, because we now have 10 of these ones, we can exchange 10 ones for one 10, but now we have 10 tens, so we can exchange those for one extra hundred, and doing that gives us 10 hundreds, and we can exchange 10 hundreds for one more thousand. So that's why one more than 2,099 is 3,000. And then we can keep on adding ones until we get to 3,006. We could also show place value counters. So again, starting with 2,997. If we add ones, we get to 3,000. Because if we've got 10 ones, we exchange those for one 10. Doing that means that we have 10 tens, and we can exchange those for, for 100. And then, because we've now got 10 hundreds, we can exchange those for one extra thousand, giving us 3,000 altogether. And then we can keep on adding ones until we get to 3,006.